No! 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 So, school is starting soon, and some of my audience, well, most of my audience, is going into the sixth grade of middle school. So, I decided to help all you guys out and tell you a few things that may help you through this year. And this video is going to be in three parts because I'm going to try and start making shorter videos and make them come out more often. Oh yeah, now I'm here too. Because sixth grade is the worst thing ever. And it's almost even as bad as these were. Let's get into the video. So for this video, I decided that I'll do... A list type thing. Well, that sucks. As I was saying, I will give you three pieces of probably bad advice for starting out middle school. Number one. Snacks and food. Before school, you need to eat at the same food times that your school will eat in. And you also need to eat a little bit less. Because in middle school, what they feed you is what a mouse on a diet eats as a snack. And if you take your own meal, remember to take something to eat for a while. Like something you can eat for a long time, like a jawbreaker or a lollipop. Not something like a moon pie or, um, or a pack of Lay's chips. And remember to take something that won't fill you up because that will spoil your lunch. Number two, entertainment and phones. In school, you always often need a stress relief. Now, during lunch, they'll normally allow phones. So you need to make sure that your phone will be able has enough charge to last for a full lunch time and also in case you may play some kahoot in class because kahoot is the best thing that you can do in class and you only get a chance once in a while so make sure that you have your phone 100 percent all day or else that day is going to be so terrible like trust me i've made kids have whole days without phones before. <laughs> Number three. Getting on your teacher's good side. And other advice things that couldn't be their own topic and kind of relate to getting your teacher's good side. Okay, anyways. Getting on your teacher's good side. So for the first part of the year, you're going to want to get on your teacher's good side but you don't want to stand out. Standing out, people who stand out will probably be the teacher's least favorites by the end of the year. And also, uh, you gotta not sit with your friends for the first little bit or she'll think she will know that you're buddies and you're more likely to talk in class if you sit next to your best friend. And also, ah, okay, yeah, I, I don't have anything, obviously, anyways, guys, remember to listen to the end card, <laughs> okay, guys, so, uh, I'm sorry if there's a little bit of background noise, I have roommates, I'm on vacation, there will be a vlog about that, out. ah, Anyways, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And tell Jacob about middle school if you're already in it or have been in it in previous years. Anyways, guys, bye. God bless you, and bye.